Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are in the world, I do suppose. Welcome to another stream by me, um, everyone's favourite me. Hello, who have we got in the chat, I would like to know. Come say hello, I promise I don't bite, I only nibble. Nice and pleasantly, like, nice and pleasantly I nibble and I'm, I'm, I'm nice about it and pleasant. So... Let's quickly drop a tweet out there telling everybody that we're live. I like to see who finds us first, and then I like to tweet about the fact that I'm live. Probably not the most efficient way to do it. Um, join us live with some L.A. Noir and that. Yeah. And then I like to add a photo of President Richard Nixon is the suggestion that came up, but um, Opbridge EX has like, this weird suggestion of photos to add, and it wanted me to put a President... Richard Nixon photo on there instead of the thumbnail for L.A. Noir. Now the reason for that is because I've been working today on a History Channel video that will be on Decades, which will be launching on the 19th of July. This is the first live stream I've done since I announced that. So via the link in the description or via the link in the chat, which is the pinned message, you can go and subscribe to Decades if you so wish to do so, which would be super fantastic. It's currently sitting at 1,000... 510 subscribers and we haven't even published anything yet so we can't wait to get started because the interest that's been shown so far is fantastic and obviously at some point I'll be making a trailer of some sort for it and um hmm why does it want to verify that it's me um for some reason I've got to verify that I am me on YouTube Um, apparently I've forgotten my own password. I've remembered my password. Right, I need to sort this out now. Um, yes. Terrific. Done. Well, that was not a problem. Okay, so let's see who we've got in our chat. Don't know why YouTube decided now was the time to do that, but apparently it did. So who've we got in our chat? We've got Zeno Plays, Rip Van Winkle, Ivan Hunter, Apac, Mr. Whale, Doodle, Angelina Yang, James Raisin, um, JMOCT6041, Sheldon Thompson, Hi Father, hello, Rock Trout, Red Pulse, hello there. Uh, good afternoon, Fisher. I'll be back after finish watching Darth Vader's morning routine. Nice one. Mr. Tip, hello. Chris Cole. Dark Legion. Smokes. What's up, Fisher? How are you doing? Guy Cassano. Ian Robinson. Expert Gamer 0398. Lola Gray. Hey, buddy. Hello there. Um, Den Dog. Hello from Miami, Florida. Thank you for this. LA Noir means a lot to me. Also, love your AC reviews. Cheers. Nice one. Nice one. Chrissy Stevenson. Joe Skeleton. You missed me. No, I haven't. Shush, I see you. Josh Heckman, Alistair, Brill, Joshua Lopez. Indeedy, indeedy. It's good to see everybody in the chat. Hello, everybody. What's good? If you're in the chat and you want to come say hello, then please do say hello. Um, I am more than ready to say hello back. I like to say hello to people who come into the chat. While we're on the fly, I can't promise to interact with everybody in the chat, but now I can at least read everybody's names. You know what I mean? So we got Bean, Aria... A Ramilo. If Martin Scorsese made a game, it would be L.A. Noir. You're probably not wrong. It's a, it's, it's, it's a bit that way, except I feel like um, maybe it's not quite. Maybe there's a bit, maybe there's a little bit of tropage in more in L.A. Noir than Martin Scorsese stuff. Chris Cole. They should do a, a, a N.Y. Noir or Chicago Noir at some point. It's been a long time since this has been out. Chicago would be brilliant, wouldn't it? First time here. Hello, Vin. Welcome to the chat. L.A. Noir versus Mafia 2. Which is better? L.A. Noir, in my opinion, is better because I prefer the um, the feeling of a detective game. I, I like how it how it plays as that, and I just feel like it's more immersive. Mafia 2's got a brilliant sort of like more 
action-oriented story, I suppose, but Alain Noir is much of a thinker. They're not not—they're not really something I can compare, but they both have their positives. Hi, Fishy, will you do a revisit of The Hermits in Red Dead Redemption 2? The Hermits, a video. The Hermits, revisit. I revisit every single Hermit. I mean, for the time being, I mean, I've just released a revisited video. I want to do a stream. I want to... Um, and that's my focus for today. If anyone has any suggestions for things that you'd like me to revisit or lore topics in Red Dead you'd like me to do, then of course be my guest, shoot them, shoot them over in the chat or whatever you want to do. I have got a couple ideas that I'd like to work on at some point. Um, and so of course that will be something that we need to do. Um, the Kermits. Kermit! We love him. I can't do a Kermit impression. But hello Vin, welcome. I know it's, you said it's your first time here. It's good to see, it's good to see you as you Time consuming, that shall be. I like your turtle cult video. Thank you, Ivan. I, I liked making it. It was longer than I thought it would be, but I'm not really complaining, you know? Like, the day Arthur truly lost his innocence. A crying cat. Ah, oh, thank God I made it on time to the stream before gameplay starts. Have been looking forward to more LA Noir. Yeah, so have we. Would you look at this? We're ready to go. You can do a better Kerbin impression than me, then you can't do a particularly good one, then can you? Fun fact Fisher, you can use the water coolers in this game to get a cup of cough a cup of water. That's loud. Hang on a minute. You have twisted my arm. Come on, Cole. Where's the water cooler? I need a water machine. Find one. A police station will have ten. Give me ten of the things. Keep locked. Okay, maybe it's upstairs? Do an in-depth video about Herbert Moon's life right. philosophy. I feel like I feel like if I paid attention to Herbert Moon, it would probably not end well. Hello! Give me a swig. I feel like somebody lied to me. Which one of you lied to me? Give me a swiggle li Ah! Yes! He's doing it! Terrific. Right, let's go. Yeah, man. Hello, gamers. Hello, Ezzy Ferdian. Zed Herb. It's not much, but wanted to show my support. I really appreciate it, Zed Herb. You're an absolute legend. It's more than I deserve. Hello there, boss. So, yeah, no, you absolute legend. And in, uh, oh, someone's calling the in-depth Herbert Moon video a good idea. I'll never lie to you, fishy. It's true. No, I, f I found out that the hard way. I could take the nondescript undercover car, or I could take the patrol car. I'm taking the, the, un the undercover one. Because it's cooler. See you later. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. He's, he can come. There we go. We're off. We're off on a journey, my friends. To detect crime! I just got in the car and there's already a fucking scrap going on. Why is it all the way over there, though? We're the only cops in the entire city. I forget that sometimes. Thing is though, is there's no like measurement of distance. What are we playing on? I'm playing on a PlayStation 5, but I believe it's the PS4 sort of version. I don't know what they did to it to upgrade it to PS4, but they did do that, I remember it. Obviously, I've only ever done a full playthrough of LA Noir once piece. in the past. It's a kind of game that you do once and you're done. But at the time, maybe I wasn't able to take on board all of the uh, crucial parts of the game, you know, it was a long time ago. So maybe now it's like it's like a you know, this time around, I'm sure it'll probably be the the last... I'm sure it'll be the last time I play L.A. Noir this this playthrough. But, um... Oh, maybe. But I feel like it'll be worth it for the, uh, for the detecting business. Let's go over the edge. Yeah! Who needs fucking roads anyway? Careful! Jesus, I set that thing on fire. But this car is perfectly fine. That was the most super cop thing I've ever done. If you leave your partner behind, then drive away for a while and stop, they'll soon be dropped off in a patrol car and tell you not to do that again. To be fair, sometimes they do that, but other times they will literally just run across the map to you. Um, 
It depends on who it is, I suppose. Yeah. Hard fucking... Yeah! Nearly. N nearly perfected it, but there was just a stubborn post in the way. If they announce the PS5 Pro, will you buy it? I mean, hmm, I don't know. I'm quite happy with the regular PS5, and it's not like they, it's not like this time around they really need a Pro yet. Maybe in a couple of years if they did, I'd be like, oh, that sounds interesting. But they haven't done that yet. Oh, really? Car 11K, we'll handle the help call. Go ahead, KGPL. I'm here. Oh dear, death from above. I see you motherfuckers. Come on up here and get us. I used what to ignore this? these. Traffic stop from hell. Have you heard of Goat Simulator 3, good sir? I'm not, I've not heard of Goat Simulator 2. They lose. Bullets start flying. And they snatch up the guns and one of the cops. Head to high ground and make their stand. And the officer? Up there. Still alive, we think. Who knows for how long? Five minutes. We'll keep him busy if you can find a way up, sir. Well, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Well, finding a way up. There is no way up. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, that's a way up. Hi, friend. I've come to bang. Can I take your rifle? I would like your rifle. Coppos, I'm one of the bad guys now. Banged! Banged! Oh, it's a yellow plate. Nice and yellow. Right, up we go. Just climb a pipe. This was a unique game, like, holy damn. I miss Rockstar doing these random games. Like... I, I, I like... I like a good random game, you know. Throw out the guns! <laughs> Throw out the guns, sir. Shit. Bang! That, that was one of them dealt with, I suppose. It was the arm shot that did him. It wasn't the bullets in his heart. Nothing like that. It was fine. Have you repaired your friendship with the As Always gang? My friendship with the As Always gang was broken? I've been involved in a shooting. <laughs> I mean, here. what? Suspects are down. My hat, and I know. Ambulance at Chateau and Valencia. So, right, I've already also got the trophy. Also notify Detective Headquarters. I'll need the coroner. My partner and I are okay. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and corner. Detective headquarters will be notified. Legally, police can't no scope. Well, I just did. Nice. Get in the car. In fact, no, you can stay the fuck here, dickhead. Right, I'm off. Da 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 at least I have nobody to comment on my driving. Oh, look at that. I've discovered a hospital. The Good Samaritan's Hospital. Isn't that mad? I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit of a dickhead. Since Four Pillars was dissolved, you all went your separate ways. It's not been dissolved. What? We recorded a podcast literally today. This is news to me. What? What are you on about? The um, Discord um, is gone. Everything else is business as usual for us, I think. To clear up a bit of confusion. Now, if I wait here, will my partner eventually rock up? Like, if you look on the map, He's there at the moment. He's waiting. I want to see if he'll come. Has he moved? Where is he? No, he's in the same spot. I remember finding when this game 
was new being able to get a Tommy gun from outside out the patrol car and using it. it was fun for side missions. My bad then, apologies. It's no problem. Hello, copper. Uh, that was me just declaring myself to be police to my fellow police. Hello, friends. I'm ready. What will your first decades video be? Ooh, look at the curiosity. Think, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys guess, actually. I mean, the, I've already answered the question out there somewhere. But I'll let you guys guess. What do you think it's going to be on? Like, if you know where you're looking, you'll probably be able to find the answers. But I want, I want you to guess. We'll have some fun about it. I've arrived. Jacob's backyard. To oh, this is the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. This is the car mission. Yes. Quite the car mission. Phelps, I need to traffic. turn off the television. Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detective. A recommendation for decades would be TWA. We got a call 800. about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic. Why well, catch the criminal when you can just shoot them? this vehicle since no. we arrived. No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Da -da -da -da! Whose vehicle is this? Oh, it's got an Argentinian flag or something. Is that Argentina? They must have taken the flag yeah. as a souvenir. Can't have it any street value. I don't know, it's on the console's car, mate. <laughs> California Motor Vehicle. By the Argentinian me to find it. Open the boot. What's in the boot? Empty. Just a repair kit. It's a bit empty, that. It's a bit shit. Oh my god. Wheels been missing? Missing wheels? Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. What's that? Ooh. Plate's gone. What's in the car? That's just it. Why does it look like a bomb? Okay, it is what it is that. What's this? It's got something on it. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. I'll look in a guess since you're from New Zealand, maybe something. Well, I'm not from New Zealand. I'm from the UK. <laughs> Makes me think I'm from. Who thinks I'm from New Zealand? I'm a bit confused, but okay. I don't know when that become a, became a part of my official law. I thought Fisher was from the north, to be honest. I, I, I live in the Better north, yeah. I'd love to do some video, some content on the north. I've got an idea about something. I want to do some local history for the northwest of the UK. That'd be nice, but... Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Dealership. Yeah. 29 Figueroa Street. Got it. Bit of terrific Thanks gaming, that. You're from New Zealand and you're in the Lord of the Rings. Oh, I've, I've never been to New Zealand in my life. How can I be from somewhere where I've never been? <laughs> I think I've got everything. Unless, actually, no, there is a bat here. Seems irrelevant. Give me a hug. 
Oswald Jacobs. That's right. It's me. What exactly happened here? Mr. He's a friendly man. Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty. Tyler lot? is Australian. Damn kids play stickball here. Rip the Always dead back. Breaking my windows. Always asking for their I genuinely ball thought I, we you were. I need car, to get better Mr. at Jacobs. identifying Don't accents. Be Fair enough. Sonny. Anyway, Isn't that the guy you last shot? Night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. You sure about that? You're sure it was three Hispanics? Not some local kids you're looking out for? Hell no. Little sons of bitches live around here. I'd love to see them in juvenile hall. But you got your wires crossed, son. I failed that one. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Let's use some intuition. What's the community saying? You went out to the car. Oh, that does Once it. Ask gone, the community. Take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. When vehicle stripped apart. What of exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. I'm no accuse here. Hmm. <laughs> what an upstanding, believable guy. Why did you take the license plate? Me? What would I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Sorry, my mistake. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, if you could come back and do something about those kids. How about we bring you an umpire's mask? Hmm, naughty. What's on the chair? Oh, it's the 1947 agenda. Hey. Well, that's terrific. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. I forget Contact you need to pay attention in this William one. William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. I oh, know. Maybe I have to go back to the phone box for a second time. Phelps, badge 1247. This mission was fun to do in the VR version. Oh, I help, bet. Detective? I never played anything VR, actually, Michigan, but I'm sure it's fine. Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard, diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. 
Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thank you. Are you planning to acquire some virtual reality equipment if you have not already? Not really. It's not something that I, I think is Can you is cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. It's time to go on a journey. Dewey Bros dealership. Come on, copper. Why is he doing staying there? And that way, the people of Western Europe can be helped in their fight. Hop in, you dick. Crime scene contaminated with what with my car? Oh no. Come on, let's go. We're off. Where's my car gone? Oh, it's up the road a little ways. Come on, we've got to go. We've got crimes to do. Wait. Wait, what? Ah! Uh, I feel like... I've got to reinvestigate everything. Oh, for fuck's sake! I literally just did this. registration to trace the owner. It failed me for driving onto the crime scene. Now I've got to do it all again. Ugh. Move, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, I know, I know, come on. There's nothing in the boot, there's no point. Cool, it's a wheel. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Come on, I know, I don't give a fuck though. Right, the flag's missing, that's pretty cool. That'll be a clue to look out for. You must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Cool. It's a wrench. Combination wrench. The game Let's fucked me over bad lugs. there. I always wasn't set back 40 minutes like in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah, I've never had that problem before. It's a ball. Maybe this will be something useful. I don't think this is going to help us. Maybe this will. You better see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all. It seems like a community backyard, if anything. Empty. The bat is not particularly important. Jacobs. Hello. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. He walks down all what smug exactly and shit. What happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish? Sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Bullshit. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Theoretically, I could. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? 
They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Bit of a look at, look at his face and tell me he's telling the truth. <laughs> right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing a formal statement. There we go. At least this when way I got it all right. And way, I got some information on come back and do the suspect car. Kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Watching in 144p right now. Why? Why are you watching in 144p? Is it internet connection business? Fair play. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Yes. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Business versus pleasure, isn't it? Right, that's cool. I'm taking the book with me. I think we've run this place dry. Let's find a game well. This is going to be a long phone conversation now. Phelps, one, two, four, like the seven. ones you make to your grandmother when she's starting to lose her memory. And I she asks you the same it? question six times in a row. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership. Oui. 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. I've only these calls ended with the never-ending buys of British person, phone calls. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Yeah. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience. Bye, bye, endlessly. It. Don't shave the beard. I wasn't planning on it. Can you get a message to Captain Lee? Maybe I should. Kill him will be in as soon as we can. Thanks. To subvert expectations. Maybe I should. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. To the Dewey Brothers dealership. Is he following this time? Come on. Stop smoking your ciggy. It's time for us to dip. Of course he has to walk nice and slow. I don't want to contaminate the crime scene again, otherwise we'll have to do it all over. America is the lucky country, and California is one of the finest jewels in America's The siren is more interesting than the rest. Oh, get Jesus out of the way. Christ. Stop jumping now? into my way! This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have got this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. It's not your favorite cases? Are you kidding me? This is barely even police work. If all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped. Oh, officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Let me guess. It's across the entire map. Oh, no. It's like there. We could probably detour to that. It's only around the corner. For once, we're being called to something that's actually nearby. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get Bro, I'm taking a break from all the regular thieving and murdering. Yeah, I've become the good guy for once. Move, vehicle. 
I like how they don't turn off the, the radio either. Yeah, cinematic camera. I've arrived. It appears to be kicking off. Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go in through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my trouble. All right. Still night. Get him through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep him busy. Let's go. By the back. Dude, do, 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 do. Sorry, sometimes you just have to add the atmosphere yourself, you know what I mean? Right. It's I. It's me. I'm on a journey. Okay. okay. Ah, fuck. I'm at sprint speed. I can't seem to corner quite that sharp. Who's ready to get shotted? Reinforcements are on the way. Get out of the way, copper. Show your face. Bye bye. What a fool. Stay down. Wake up the stairs. Get after it. I'm trying, but it's not really going quick enough, is it? Wow. Let's do it on the roof, the fool. Put the weapon down now. Hostage killed! <laughs> oh fucking you're taking the piss. What's this chat moderation today? I don't know. Honestly, I've I'm I'm streaming. If none of the moderators are showing up, then I'm not sure what I can do. I can't just stop keep What's the situation? Uh we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. Let's um, front, not be spamming in my chat though. If I nearly you can got a mouthful of lead in my throat. All right, I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep him busy. Let's go. Yes, I'm on a journey. I'm going this way. Right this time, remember to run into the shop at stupid speed. Shoot everyone in the face. And oh fuck! I forget cornering. Right, here we go. Surrender now, or I will use. Come on, show your face. Stay in cover. Wake up the stairs. Get after it. Right, I've been shot twice at aggressive angles f for my troubles. Judge Fishy. I'm Executioner Fishy. Put the weapon down now. You fucking asked for it. Oh fuck, he killed the host. Oh my god, why is it so fiddly? It's like. When you want it to slightly move, it it only moves with like harsh strokes. So a little, a little nudge, it'll do nothing. A big nudge, and it goes the full way. I just hate that I have to replay the entire fucking thing. The moment is there a process people go through to become moderators? Usually it's by not asking. Usually I, don't, I just. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. Honestly. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my truck. Honestly, right. I slowly, I, I slowly the lose right, the I'll point. Stay here and keep them busy. With moderators, because people start seeing it as some strange go. responsibility to moderate the stream, and they stop showing up because they realise that they don't want to do that. Um, so what I what I do is I just, if anybody causes mega disruption, I'll just ban them outright myself. If any of moderators who are already moderators show, they can they can do what they gotta do. Throw out the guns. Why do you have to run past me before? Excuse me. Find some cover! You know what, your shotgun's gonna be handy. Wake up the stairs, get out! 
Why does it always do that? Oh, it's because oh, I'm a fedora. The fedora of luck. I need this. See you in a minute. I've got my fedora. I'm not sure if it will actually do anything for me now, but we'll see. Put the weapon down now. You fucking ass. Banged. Done. Only took three attempts. Cole Phelps, remember me, nombre. Eleven K. I've been involved in a shooting at three thirty-three South Main Street. Globe loan and jewelry. It's code four now. Where did she come from? Down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. Look at the amount of street crimes I have successfully completed. The siren might help me avoid copyright. Oh, fuck. I, I like how I set that, car, that guy's car on fire. Mine's just mildly crumpled and everything else is fine. Yeah. Maybe cinematic camera was not the way to go today. Can you just sing it yourself to avoid copyright? Probably not. <laughs> I don't really care, it's not like these streams earn me stupid money anyway. I'm sure eventually it does start to add up, but you know. The biggest earner- oh fuck. I saw that coming as well. The biggest earner on um, on streams is um, Super Chats. So, you know, a stream can either earn me nothing or it can earn me something through people super chatting, but I'm not really too fussed. It's not why I stream. My stream is a little bit of an extra. And, you know, the views, the views, it adds up. It's got a bit of a snowball effect, so it, it's always got a positive. Love your Red Dead Redemption videos, man. Cheers, CB. Can we get some big love for uh, Scrobbit, please, everybody? Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating Will you release the more Red Dead Redemption videos? To the yeah. Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Do 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 This guy seems to be quite the charismatic fellow. I'm sure he's innocent. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do. <laughs> it sells cars. Go sell some cars and whatever it is you do here. What? Sell cars? I'm not sure what he was expecting to get out of that line. Well, it definitely appears as if something's missing. Because we only have one, one left. One wrench left and two holes. It doesn't fit in the big hole because it's a small right. wrench. Yes. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Saying. I like how there's a man here and I can pick up his tools, wiggling them about. I'm gonna snip, snip, snip your balls off. Use to us. This man's under the car going. I don't realize crotches speak. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I wish I could get in the car, start it, and run the man over. That would just make me laugh. Is there anything else to investigate here? Ooh, a hammer. No good to me.
Oh, a plate. Doesn't look like anything. This place is full of red herrings. Oh. A file. This doesn't pertain to the case. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay, what's in the hole? What's this? It's another plate. It's not my plate. Cool, let's go chat. The best part is I can just hop in the car and take it. If you it. don't mind, we have a few questions. Right, yes, assertive voice, that does it. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. So he was, was just there was more to it. But, uh, yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes, threaten him. 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night. Detail, when when you go to the apartment, you should go to the door across parts. the apartment. You're had a supposed to go and keep ourselves. knocking on it. Or be a father to try to get his daughter to sleep. Mine's will be lit. The lit. Your back is turned. Fuck, I completely... What are you hiding, I got it right, Dewey. Right? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. Call the bipolar just an Fedora Phelps. Salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. I'm taking one of your cars. I hope you don't mind. Whoa, hold your horses there. Step into my office, son. We'll sign some papers. Then that baby's yours. Yeah, man's in a bit. <laughs> Instead of signing papers and buying a car, I've just hopped in the car and driven it off. I've commandeered it from a dealership. Are you blind? Even has the dealer paper on it, pay, uh, page on it. Yeah, look, look at that. Seventy-two thousand two hundred and ninety dollars. Well, we didn't pay anything for this. You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things will be popping out of. The Take it easy. It's not our car. It's fine. We didn't need windows anyway. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I can smell strand. People scoffed at the idea of talking using color. Look what we have now. We am driving at speeds. The same thing for you, just to see the dealer's reaction. We're heading back to the station first, isn't it? Oh, I forgot there's a wall there. Oh, How did I not absolutely. see the wall? Ah, oh, that's alright, there's a staircase. Everything's fine. It's not a staircase, it's an improvised road. Yeah, man. I'm a danger driver, apparently. You see that for a, almost a crash. Hello, fellow humans. Hello there, username. 
I paid zero money for this um, brand new vehicle that I'm ragging about. Hey Fisher, if you could spend a day in Rockstar Universe, which one would it be? I don't know. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an in interview too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. This way. Don't want to make homicide. You know you've got him made. Let's go into interview room. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldez. Counsel Jen. I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. He's being honest about that. No, he's Dewey not. Brothers. What? No, he tells us about Dewey Brothers. Brothers. Oh. We place. know it came from there. It would not surprise uh, me. Why is this confusing me? Oh, I should have Consul doubted it. General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you gonna tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. Right, let's uh, use some intuition here. I'm kind of... Ask the communities kind of just which one's right. So, obviously, accuse is the answer. You fuck young boys, Valdez. <laughs> oh, <mad man. laughs> this will cause an international incident. <laughs> right, okay. Which one do I accuse him with? <laughs> I feel like this isn't even right now. Why is the... Oh, here we go. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, <laughs> and Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> that just escalated. <laughs> I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. Right, let's go. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Right, they've fixed up my brand new car that's still got the fucking let's take a quick intermission dealer on sign on it. Delgado's residence. Gabriel Delgado. Can I donate this thing? I can't. I can only stop it. Hmm. Excuse me. We're off on a journey. Under an underpass. Right. 
You're gonna kill someone. To be fair, in my defence, didn't happen. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? No, what's the point? He'll slaughter no more cattle or chickens, <laughs> and his skin will bring a nice profit to hunters who take the aerial route. That's quite a bank for a Look at that for hardcore driving. KTI is a member of the American Century. Yeah. I've seen people with worse driving IRL. Apparently it's above us. Oh, here it is. It's this building. Delgado's residence. 3.20 p.m. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. What do you think? You're a bulldozer? What the hell can't is go this guy hitting doing? Rods. Let me in. I'm still laughing about that fucking line. Yeah, real Delgado. Three, one. Oh. Here he is. Apartment three. Apartment three. So it's this door where you keep knocking. There'll be a line. Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. But that works. Yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel. That, yes, I know that's apartment four, but I was told there'd be a line police. about somebody's kid trying Olivia, to sleep. You understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. That's not nice, sir. Oh, that's an Argentinian flag. How far along are you, Anna? <laughs> Souvenirs are a dumb move. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? Incidental. You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one will be seeing Papa for a very long time. Oh dear. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Getaway car that is remarkable, probably not the best shout. I don't think so. Anything in here of interest? Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. He was here. So I've got evidence that she's going to lie to me. Yes, keep running into the fucking... Yeah, that's a great idea. Keep running into the kitchen. Brilliant. Instead of, like, stopping doing that. I think I've got everything. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. Do you play Marvel vs. Capcom? What? No, I don't even know what that is, but I presume I, I can so figure anything. out what it is, but I don't know about he it. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. 
I love him. Motive for auto theft. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Gabriel's been in trouble oh, before. Fuck. He left you here alone to answer for him, and you expect me to believe that his motive was honor? Please don't yell at me. I've done nothing wrong. Maybe check out back, too. This punk has something stashed somewhere. I know it. What's in the back garden? He's got a shed. Yes, I didn't know there was a shed. I don't think outside the box enough. Oh, he's got the wheels. <laughs> Silly man. Looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Well, that's terrific, isn't it? Can't wait to the part where we get onto the actual murders, to be fair. Can't believe I just said that. But I love a good murder. Nothing significant. Why does he have so many random number plates? And this is nothing. Nope. I've got everything. Well, up, we're heading up the staircase. Diplomatic plates recovered. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. What's the community saying? Ah, oh, okay. Then tell us where he is! If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. <laughs> Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado is so not to find out. Why you always gotta be so noisy? We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Right. I'm not gonna do all ten different lines of dialogue. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Just thought it would be funny to really sort of invade everybody's privacy for shits and giggles, you know. Now this is the car we chose. Legal street race. Let's go! What kind of man leaves his My car is on the roof. While he goes off to play cars. Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. But it is on a roof. Yes, here else. we go. Kids used to Freedom. Cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. I like how we just the casually... The <laughs> year old I have to do on the sidewalk, you're calling the mother. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. This cars to the video game 
I appear to have lost the door. Watch it! I appear to have lost both doors. I've misplaced the local doors. That's nice. Excuse me. Ooh, that nearly ended horribly. I'm not sure what good this car is going to do for me in this sort of situation. But that looks like it could do some serious murdering. Like how we, like how there's still an animation for um, advice. We need to shut down the race and shut down Delgado. Let's get moving. This looks like a fast boy. Watch what you're doing. Speeds. Okay, so maybe it's not a particularly fast boy. This is very much so the definition of a car with go faster stripes, I suppose. Roy's car would be great for this. Ooh. Illegal street race. I've got to get after. Oh, it, 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 it whacks you in a default anyway, so it's fine. See you later. Quick, they're getting away. Phelps, twelve forty-seven. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. I am Copa. Stay on Delgado. Get out of my away. fucking way, I'm not racing. I'm trying to chase the guy at the front. Who are you? Who's this dick? Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. I'd love to, but he is a fast boy. I'm sure that did all that needed to. Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. Look at that. I controlled that corner better than any other that I've done in this game, and I'm... Oh, dear. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. He is technically still in a faster car, mate. Come on, you're getting creamed by a kid in a red fort. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. He doesn't have them. How's he God going? Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Wee! Fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? How am I still going? I think we got him. <laughs> Why did he run right past us? You're under arrest for grand theft auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. Well, that worked out. You got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing and we need more of it in this department. Well, did it kind of okay. Hey everyone, having a day off work at the moment so I can catch up with all the gamers. How you all been? Yeah, not too bad. Viking2799, just a bit of gaming. So I found 16 or 17 clues and got 10 or 13 questions correct. I did $4,512 in vehicle damage, 0 in injuries and 88 in city damage. And the Argentinian Consul General Juan Valdez gets his Packard back almost in one piece. As for his reputation, different story.
You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso. This carbine, the four is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Oh, no. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Hmm. A marriage made in heaven. Bitter gaming. The penalty for insubordination is fortunate. Son on repeat 48 hours. Oh, this is the one where the guy gets run over. Finally, a dead man. I'm ready. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. I'm ready to hunt down my Straight first murder the... man. Well, to be fair, but first things first, hey, get out of my way, copper. I must have a swig. I would have waited, but then I saw the man's jaw structure and thought to myself, you know what, there are worse things. They're not having a nice swig before going off to commit crime. Well, to solve crimes. I don't commit them. What are you on about? Fucking hell. Run me over. I don't want that car, I want this one. I have a question. You're going to have to move out of my way, mate. I need to f figure something out. Can I drive the car into the building? No. It's, there's like an invisible wall there. I thought I could. I thought, oh, there's just enough space to drive that car into the building. But there wasn't. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. And Rodriguez Beware, the case is ending is not what you probably expect. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered. Um, if I remember correctly, the guy was kind of already dead by the time the car hit him. I knew I should have driven. Somehow. I'll convince him to let it go. You gave me Terminator vibes there. Yes. It would appear as if he's in a state of dead. That is somebody smoking a cig. That is somebody in a bar. Detectives! Over here! Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? No game can quite keep you on the edge of anxiety while well, performance Patterson anxiety quite like LA Noir. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Hat.
Apparently there's nothing on this fedora of use. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. What's in your pockets? Addison has life insurance. Hmm. Life insurance. That's terrific. Everybody wants life insurance. Wallet. We can notify next of kin. Yeah. Oh, he's got some wonga. How you doing, dead man? I think it's best to assume that he's not in the greatest of states. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I don't know how intoxicated... Give some Nurofen and he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, codeine and a tango and he'll be sorted impact. right out. <laughs> what about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Well, he... carried a little distance. Body traveled a good 20 feet. It's what we call a journey. But. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. <coughs> this blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Yes. Oh, tire prints. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. He wasn't trying to kill anyone. Ooh. Wasn't the police officer, was it? Is all yours, detective? Let me have a look. If there's anything I've missed, I don't know. Where did you come from, you fool? You didn't come from there, did you? Since you were probably shunted about here, it's safe to assume that you came from in there. Huh. There's lots of blood. Which is not a good sign. I suppose we will speak to you. Saying, it's me. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. How long you got to be to kick a body that far? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Probably quite strong. We're talking like John 117 level here. Um. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Argument overheard. It's a very straight face. I can't read that. Ask the community. The community says that she's telling the truth. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. If you want to know an interesting fact about the muscles in your legs, they work at about eight, um, about 30% efficiency. Otherwise, they break your legs or something. Oh, shit, right. I'm just trying to quickly sort out my, my lovely Chong device by filling it up with the liquids. There we go. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Not a... Did you see the license plate? She's not lying to me. Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Very forthcoming. 
Tell me more about the argument. Oh no, it's naked you HDXYZ. Bro, cheapest Tinder just for Man sex. And a woman. That's all. <laughs> the bot can go. No, no, she's lying! Then a third person. Another man. Oh no! I, I'm blaming Naked HDXYZ Bro Cheapest Tinder just for sex. For that one. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Hello. Shrink to the stars. Oh no. It's Micah Bell, but in L.A. Noir, he's back. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. I just wonder if we're going to get any more bots today. How is it you always do. Keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor. Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. We arrive. Shrink to the stars. It's Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine, or as I like to call him, Micah Belland. Is there, any, is there anything in here that can be of use to me? Ooh, I can talk to you. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Thank Where you, is Dudley. He stepped out. Somebody had to take Mona, Mrs. Patterson, home. Hit and run incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. He's there, like... I'm gonna have to use some intuition here, I think. Right, let's bad cop him. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the Colton side. Colton sketch Just people's faces quickly. Oh, he can. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Social cues, I struggle. Do you know the victim? <laughs> yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? No, what that was, was not the correct answer. Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Oh, a phone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. 
Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. All right, it's time to go on a journey. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Whee! Excuse me. Where's my car? Who's stolen my car? Spoke locations is sort of like Ray's Cafe. Patterson residence. And the Shelton residence. I suppose we go to the Patterson re residence first. Find anything interesting? Insta heat advertisements. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ran you over, boss. Get in the car. I thought he was going to get in the boot then, but like dispose of me. Have I broken him? I've given Stop. <laughs> Have I given him brain damage? Well, that was an experience. He left his hat behind. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got hurt. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. Slow down! Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? He does have life insurance, which might be an interesting thing to mention. Right, sorry I uh, parked outside in your back garden and that, but I'm here now. When you're cashing Shelton, you see the destination for the coroner and drive there fast and then go to the truck. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Now, this is a strange... That's a strange opening. Like, he's fucking dead. We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. <laughs> he doesn't have his hat still. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Yes, it says your Discord expired. For divorce. The link should Mental be cruelty. gone completely. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. Um, and Lester knew about yeah, the, the link should no. be gone because I the Discord told. server doesn't well, exist hasn't this worked out anymore. well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. 
Conspiracy. Hit and run accident. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Uh, oh, seems clever. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling. Accuse only run of LA Noir, rip. Oh, hello there, Joe. Kind of felt sorry for the driver. Was that actually Joe? I had no chance. Oh, it is Joe. I didn't realize there was a space in your name. <laughs> you were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now if you could both just leave. Imagine leave someone man. catfishing as the founded scarab. That that'd be I a new life, but you're having, I know some people who probably do it. I know I know the, I know the Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves The scared. conspiracy runs hot. Right, I need I'm to use here, Lorna. I got a business to run. Need to utilize your mobula fobula. Where's the phone? Operator, give me dispatch. I'm putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? Any messages? I've shit myself again. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, see ya later. Seems like something interesting has come up at the morgue. To Central Morgue. We're off. Well, I'm off to play a significantly better game, Mafia 3. Joe, we both know that's a lie. Why are you doing this to yourself? Come enjoy some L.A. Noir for the next however long. You'll love it. Basically, you detect. How far away is that? As to whether or not I can be fucked with it. Oh, sexy yapster. Cheers for the super chat, Joe. Um, I'm confused. Right, I should probably do the crime, right? Only a casual doesn't do the, cri the crimes as they come in. Yes, the train is the way. <laughs> Along the rails, because why not? Yes. I know I was underrated. One might even say criminally underrated. I've accidentally crashed into a map. This isn't a tank, Phelps. This is me reading this chat is like texting while driving. Play Toy Story 2 next. Maybe I will, just to have a laugh. Take it easy, pal. Sorry, I'm doing this for shits and giggles now. My driving ability is not particularly good in games. Neither is my shooting ability. Hello there, hello there, Raiden. Ooh. RKO Theater. This is 11K. We'll handle the 459. Roger, 11K. Your 459 is at 829 South Olive Street at Silmans. Oh shit, they've blown a hole in the wall. That's useful. 
You got that safe open yet, or what? Your girlfriend is looking over my shoulder again. I swear she says one more word. Honey, it's best if you let him work. Floyd, you better hurry up. That was a hell of a crash we made getting in. It's about to go off. LAPD, hands up, all of you. Jesus, Jake, Morty, come and blast this cop. They're upstairs. Upstairs. This wasn't my idea, mister. You keep an eye on the girl. <laughs> Criminals get the severe punishment here. Clap them, all of them. I was going to, but apparently the game went no. Man is getting dirty looks from people in work you got that already. Safe open yet or what? Hello, everybody. Is Working. Again. <laughs> it's me. I swear she says one more word. Honey, it's best if you let him work. Floyd, you better hurry up. That was a hell of a crash we made getting in. LAPD, hands up. There's no oh, skipping cutscene thing here. Jake I wish there was. Come and blast this cop. They're upstairs. Upstairs. This wasn't my idea, mister. You keep an eye on the girl. Come get me. Show your face. Safe. Everything's very dark in here. Oh, there's a staircase. That'll help. Yeah. As if the as if Detective Bukowski. Give it up, LAPD. Oh no, he's. I hate when they introduce a chase, but that one seems to have worked out in my favour. Probably going to work on the uh, Yasuki project in a bit. That sounds interesting. Okay, out of nowhere. You can skip cutscenes by holding X for a few seconds. Does that work in this game? We'll find out next time we fail something. Right, off to continue with the investigation that I've definitely not completely forgotten about doing street crime. Excuse me. I'm off. On a journey. On a journey down the road. It's a great mighty journey. I'm ready. I'm ready to go on a journey. I'm ready to go on this journey. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just chatting shit. Hello, Milan Jamal. I hope I said hello to you. I don't know if I did. If I have now. The handbrake is not an especially effective brake. How do you learn that? Well. In the event of a freak accident brake failure. What I was going to do is thrash the car about. Oh, this, this is a dead end, of course it is. Right, okay, down a staircase we go. This isn't even a... Yeah, man! Why not? It's 
He's playing PS or Xbox? This is... PS. Yeah! <laughs> I think I did it! The entire side of the car is dilapidated, but I fucking did it! I like how this, I've expanded the space inside. I mean, look at that! That's the most uniquely crashed car I've ever seen in my life. So how did you uniquely crash this car? How did you give it an extra half a meter of width? I don't know. Bukowski got knocked right out. The chief is not going to be happy about the damage. Went mad. It's a lot of damage. Whose office is this? Well, not mine. Clearly, this is a different. Maybe this is the spot. driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again. The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death. Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time and call for evidence. Okay. Right. Well, I've made a decision. And that decision is I'm stealing the ambulance. That's the most depressed siren ever. What does it matter? Ray's Cafe. At the bar there was a knife in the trash can. Well we're headed back there. However quickly an ambulance can do that. I'll do that after we've done this, whatever that is. Look out! It's not our car, everything is okay. Well, that escalated. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. It's too late, Sabo. I've got to give chase. Leroy Saville. He's making for the roof, Cole. The fire escape, quick! 
I'm trying, but it's a bit tricky. Safe. That didn't end especially well for him, did it? You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, <coughs> Phelps. He's happy about you take this. Take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Sometimes you can get bollocked by this guy if you do something especially badly, and it makes me laugh every single time. I got fifty dollars in injuries because I ran over Bukowski. <laughs> Car did not kill Lester, but you allowed the drive to dock a failure to stop charge. Yeah, to be fair. If you go to after Shelton first, the ending would be completely different. I wouldn't I didn't have to in the end. Because I got the I got I got the knife which was still in the bin outside the place where the murder took place. Who didn't think to get rid of that? Propowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. I've been in this job 20 years. I never fired this guy. Right, it's my I turn to have a swig. The cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. He pays the rent, though. Keeps yeah. Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word. <laughs> he has some strange drinking ability. See you in a bit. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about? Where is Bukowski? There he is. Get in the car. That was way too close. I didn't do any damage. Everything's fine. I stopped in the. They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? <laughs> Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by now. Why did the green car slow Why down then? safe in a tank with you driving. Continue talking about what you were talking about before. That was actually an interesting dialogue. Without having her death strewn all over the front pages. So look at that, I'm driving normally. I've arrived. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. That didn't take long. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. How did this escalate? Already. 47, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. There we go. 
I am speed. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. What appears if that did something. High speed chase for us. Oh, he really did. Wheel arches. Come on. I've got to keep Pagger in this green car. There we go, another one for you. Give your jump up. Now. Bam! All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get break out me. of the car now. I'm out of here. It's me. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. It's a used car. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Hmm. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. Hmm? How Tell much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Yes. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car. If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Well, he ran away. If I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. You know who my father is. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Yeah, let's go. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most do, convincing do, people do, you will do, ever do, listen do. to are born right. liars. Usually they're called politicians. I'm off on a journey. I don't understand who would ever use a cinematic camera as it makes it so much harder to actually drive. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got... I removed his plate. More than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? I'm yes. going into the rails. We'll shake down the I found a new road. Unless his daddy I'm surprised that more people haven't chosen this shortcut in the past. Nobody's questioning that we're driving through train tracks. <laughs> I feel like I've really outsmired it here. This is long, to be fair. God damn it! Oh shit, there's the bonnet. I like how the radio still works down here. Well, that may not have been as useful as it should have been.
because I have to actually double back now. I might get a fresh car to be fair, this one's kind of shit and fucked. You will do. For times of your favorite program, do you have a real car? Including the Los Angeles Mirror and the Los Angeles Inquisitor. KGI Radio what do you mean by that? Like, it, like outside of gaming? Of course, but... <laughs> like in real life, I do drive, yes. Surprisingly well. Almost. Manios Trapani takes the measure of Tony Perillo. For the time being, that is. Tony gets in a lick or two and seems to be able to absorb all that Matteo can dish out, which is plenty. But you can't tell it's a dealership. Amateurs, it's nip and tuck, hit or I've arrived at the great cars, the great prices. <laughs> the same headset, it's a good pair. Yeah, it's alright. Not Let's get the likes up to 100 of it, though. Really a close. Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. It's another car salesman. Detective Phelps, LAPD. <laughs> are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, sir. Very amusing, Mr. Cook. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. The fuck? Oh, he's running off. That's a joke too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Do 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 do. Hello there. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Right. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. What's this? Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. These pink slips are leading us to something big, Coombs. It's time to stop being cute. I'm going to assume you're having a bad day, son. I sell cars, not paper. Cool. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. I'm going to use this and see what you're saying. It's a bad cop moment. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. 
this was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Bipolar felt at it again. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coates. It's <laughs> the man. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. I just need to quickly hop this. Yeah, police telephone and shit in it. Cole, I will punch you and then uh, say I love you at the same time, Phelps. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee printing company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to nick one of this guy's used cars, to be honest. Reason being is um, I want to see his reaction. I choose this one. I hope you don't mind. Well, I can't use this one. But I can certainly take this one. Hey, hey, hey! That what the hell are you doing? I like your thinking, Phelps. You call it evidence. The guy's an asshole. You can pick it up. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there. Upset. Get the bigger and better you need by using Rise and Shine yeast and by taking Rise and Shine yeast tablet supplements. I'm driving well today because I've stolen a man's car. And do your best. Go to your grocer or druggist and say, Rise and Shine, please. We will return you to regular programming. Quit lying. Two seconds later, have a great day. Yeah. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Velasco guy has to say. Fake address. Hmm. Let's head to... We're probably better off going where Bukowski tells us to. And now we wait for the... We could we could do this the up the upright way and wait for the lights to go, but I think we all know that that's not my style. We got a hundred lights though, that's nice. I love Red Dead Redemption as well. Don't get me wrong, but as far as Rockstar goes, this is my favourite game of theirs. Yeah, I can see why. There's a certain atmosphere to this game that no other game has. It's so unique. Ow, look what you've done. It's not our car. Chill. Yeah, right, it's midnight here and it's raining, so I'm going to enjoy the weather. Enjoy. Don't enjoy the rain at midnight too much. You might get a tan. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. Oh wow. Straight through the red light. Said she never saw it. Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. 
It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Hmm. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Where were you taking the car, Jane? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. Intuition time for us. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child mother. <laughs> How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear Sorry, you. Sorry, it's just such an extreme threat. Cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. Place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help Stolen me. Stolen like three cars whilst here. investigating a Grand Theft Do Auto case. Do. Yeah, that's me. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. <laughs> Hi, what's up? I love your Red Dead Redemption 2 you're videos. Phelps, right? Thank you. Yes, I am. Look. Can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San We've already Pedro. got that information. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. I need a drink. I got the G Hmm. Well, that's useful. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Get in the car, Bukowski. Get in the car, fool. Get in the car! Come on, we don't want to lose her. You know what? Fucking stay then. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. 
We Just took Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Mm, violated. Well, you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. Yes, you do. Sharp enough to lie to me, Jean. You and James Velasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? I'm trying my patience here, Jean. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Hmm. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. Hey, Fishy, I really enjoy watching your Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. They are really good and really funny, and you are one of my favourite YouTubers of all time. Please keep up the good work. Cheers, yeet boys. I suppose I'm driving the police car now. First Lady Marquee Printing Company. The Fedmobile. Friendly girl, used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. <laughs> I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too, and there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line of gray. You know, I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. My standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. That was quality. So yeah, I managed to drive somewhere with almost not crashing. <laughs> I've come. To have a chat. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. 
Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Let's have a little scan, shall we? If this guy is going to lie, we want to be able to catch him out. And he almost certainly is if he's trying to deflect. Okay, okay, he's had enough. There's nothing to investigate. I haven't been here a while, you look good fishy, thank you very much, and also welcome. Uh, there's nothing really to investigate, I suppose we just chat to him. We have some questions for you Mr. Lightball. Knowledge of theft racket. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? I think you're in this up to your neck, Lightball. You're out of your mind. What an allegation. I'll report you to your superiors. The chief of police is a very good friend of mine. A very heartfelt and genuine apology oh, is in order from you, young man. I thought they were right. Uh. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Marky Printing Company. Occurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. certainly encourage repeat business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. I'd like to say I haven't shit the bed yet. But is there a box of pink slips for me in here? What we'll do is for the time being is we'll go to 58 Industrial Street they're the next place maybe a little bit of discretion would be useful you switched cars. It would appear so. I don't want to lose this case. I'm going to finesse this.
turn that noise off. What? Why? I like I like a bit of sirens. Why are the lights green if there are just cars catching us up? Speed. I am speed, and I am cheese. This is quite a journey, to be fair. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. I made it to this one without me? killing someone. Hey, Fishy, I've watched you since the early AC days. I haven't been here in a while. How have you been? I'm all right. Don't remember making much content in the early AC days. But 45, don't you mean. ever want to use it? How you doing? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. He jumped over the box to look cool. LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. I would have shot him in the mouth for no reason. Another one shot in the mouth for no reason. How long do you think you can hold out? Come, show your face. Show your face again. Move, move. Me. You're Bang. And your buddies are dead. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. That's one. Come say hello. Bang. Try the door at the end. I heard something. Oh shit. There's more. Alright, alright, don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I toss this place. It's a f it's funnel. Maybe if no. Maybe if no. It took him a minute of straight consideration to think, ah. Oh. Where does one find the slipples? Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Ha! <laughs> Violated. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightball has been on a losing streak. Hmm. Oh no. Is there anything else in here for me to look at? Excuse me, mate. Oh! Who's been a naughty boy? There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. What's this? Find and inspect all of the marquee printed pink slips. So usually you're supposed to fuck this one up, I suppose. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Lightball, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One well, of the guys lying over there. That's a lie. Right. He has no luck. It's a lie. 
That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? But light vol's not. Which one should I pick? Because light vol's definitely alive. Delivery ledger. Just how long are we going to do this? Yes. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Hawk over 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Violated. He's now going to prison, where he belong. He's borrowing the suspect. And taking him on a journey. <laughs> this is a journey of self-discovery, and no small amount of reformation. All right, light bulb, I suppose. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? <laughs> so it ran me over and then just decided to kill me. <laughs> light bulb had me taken out. <laughs> Gordon light bulb had me fucking taken out. Anyway. Oh, that's Dickhead. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't <laughs> bring guns true. to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and then pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. Can we try to get there in one piece? They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Raw journey. Light vol's about to get fucking slapped. That's the canon ending to L.A. Noir. Oh, this is not good. Jesus, Cole! I'm just trying to get there in one piece. Gets hurt. I haven't finished this game yet. Well, it works out, done it. This is kind of quite early, so it's not really much of a problem at the moment. We've arrived at Marquee Printing Company. 4.49 p.m. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. 
We found a box of pink slips and a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Uh, keys? Save it, Lightbulb. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Which one is it, guys? Is it betting slips or gambling debts? I'm a bit confused. Look at him, he's all smug and shit. Betting slips. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree, I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. Now it's going to give me a bit of a tip. Let's have a look. With the theft racket, Smash Lightvol and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. Looks like I did that quite well. I, I think that's what that's trying to say. What that's trying to say is good job, Detective Fishy. Good job. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We step two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. The Fallen Idol. Oh, crikey. What time are we on? Eight day. Whee! Yeah, man. Do you usually stroke your beard when you get a, a question correct? I mean, it, I don't know why I do it. Two women. I think Possible it's because I, I worry that the beard looks a bit shit. The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? <laughs> the Chevy <laughs> just... Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I want to make homicide. You know you made it. See you later, fellers. Try not to work too hard. Look at you, bantering with the boys. Keep a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. 
break to the call, but never put it to sound. He's saying that through a door, is he? Get in the car! Where is where is he? Where the fuck has he gone? Oh, there he is. Hello. Let's crack on. The donut man's gone. You know we've got a siren, Phelps. We do have a siren, but you want to know something funny? I don't care. Me? Stop just ahead. Crimes. Well, that's a predicament. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, the beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Drivers beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Right. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. How do I get down to the crash? Do I just jump? Oh no, I go round. Oh, that's that's kind of useful. Or I can just fall. That works too. And is there anything up here to investigate? Why are we taking pictures up here then? Hello, coroner. Nobody died. Why is there a coroner here? You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Oh, this is no good. So the letter from She's a long way from home. That's no good. That's a fucked plate. I'm not sure what it does for us though. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Cole made a joke. Real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian truck and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess. It's probably the first and last time we'll so hear Cole Phelps make a joke. Angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? Somebody headbutted the. State, we Looks ask. like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Looks like somebody was. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Hmm. Just what I think I've seen it all. It's done. It's only done a few miles. This. It's kind of nice. Is there anything else here that needs looking at? I think we got everything. Let's go and interview.
You can take the crime scene photographer's car because he's a jerk. That is a fun fact. Which car is yours, crime scene photographer? Where is he? I'm going to presume that he's that. That's his car there. I know that's mine. Is that the coroner's? I can take the coroner's car. Probably take all the cars if I wanted to. I could probably take this ambulance. Mr. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. Hmm. Doping allegation. Injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Intuition time. Give us a bit of an idea. Bad cop it. It's wrong. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart, as the saying goes. Fair enough. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see... I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. You don't That's remember not... where the head came from? I don't know anything about a head. Why is everybody talking about a goddamn head? Well, this Isn't is... anyone interested in how I am? Not really, no. You've got a fresh Harry Potter looking scar on your forehead, though. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it, and this is where I am. Well, Mrs. I got McCaffrey, half of it correct. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics. and You're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. It's finding a shrunken head more normal or less normal than a regular-sized head? That is a good question. Um, arguably about the same, I suppose. It's about, it's about as normal. It's also argue, arguably less. I would say go off the side here, but I don't see that going well. 11K Roger, en route. Yeah! Staircase, I suppose. Let him work. Right, I suppose I'm going round. This time. Or am I? Million point turn it. Are you blind? Hey, look out for the pedestrians. The pedestrians don't care. You don't care. I have pedestrian way, friends. Alright, here we are. Let's 
Central Receiving Hospital, which is right behind the uh, police station in that. Head inside the hospital. Hello. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Me. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. Me. You can't hold me here. No. I don't need to Feeling be mad. Feeling better since this morning, doctor. Jessica. I need my lawyer. A little. Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. That's a bit of a lie, isn't it? Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Is it a lie or a doubt? It's definitely a lie. But I don't know what option I'm choosing. Is it one of these two? It's definitely not that. It could be that. It won't be that. Hmm. What are we going for here? Doubt. If you don't ask, you never find out. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions. Oh, what the fuck? It was a lie. We need to get in touch with your parents, Underway. Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. That is a lie. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Hmm. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. I think you should leave now. You're being horrible. Oh, fuck. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Well, that was a bit of a that was a bit of a shit house. I think it might be a good um, idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? 
Right, it's in a bit. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Hmm, yes. Quiet ones. Yeah, we're definitely not obvious. There she goes. Come on. be a bad time to forget how to drive Cole <sighs> probably wrap up our seems this to case. have made a remarkably speedy recovery Easy, Cole. Better back it off. Oh, they have a parking one. Get in there and see what she's up to. Hello. Right, so what do you want me to do? Get in there and see what she's up to. It's not me. Yeah, there we go. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Did you get the film? Sure, I got the film. See you later. The significant crime has taken place here. Went into a cafe and didn't get anything. Now I'm off to Bishop's apartment. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Before he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at me properly. Whee! What did you make of the kid? Watch what you're doing! That was a landing. It's just a shame that you have like a 10 out of 10 out I think she um, was dope out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. 
So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? I need to go at speeds. I don't have time for that right now. To the apartment before someone gets hurt. Seems like something's already happening there. Shit. Well, that's no good. <laughs> that's really no good. I've lost my bonnet. This game really makes you think, unless you want to use the internet to cheat. Yeah. I quite like the thinking aspect to it. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. It's all right. I'm sure this lift will get us up there in a reasonable fashion. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Left. Give it up, LAPD! Oh yes. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. How do I punch? I forgot how to punch. Oh, I remember how to punch now. It's the last button I tried. And now he's gonna now he's gonna remember the iron fists of Cole Phelps. They call me the fist of Phelps. <laughs> that is why. I'm about to shove my Phelps up your ass. Not entirely sure what they were doing, but they were having a punch up. I feel so protected. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll, I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes, thank you. Just look at this mess. Two generic looking blokes. A mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Oh, shit. Probably nothing. Don't think this is anything. There's got to be more to this yet. The gaff has been fully trashed here. Money? Money. Circumstantial. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Everything here is going to be relevant. New Testament. Oh, yes. We love a bit of God. Looks Doesn't just like my bedroom. Connected. What is this? Not sure this means much.
I'm starting to lose my patience here. Nothing is relevant. That might be. 20 grand. What do you have to Check. do to earn $20,000? Junk. It doesn't appear to be connected. Hmm. Not sure this means much. Ideal. What's this? Gay cowboys. Presented to Mark. <laughs> My favorite kind of cowboys. The gay ones. Right. Have we got everything yet? Or is there more to everything? What's that on the balcony? Hmm. There's the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. Definitely won't have a shootout on that later. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Who is this woman? What's her name? Gloria Bishop. Does anything make me think otherwise? Is this truth or bad cop? What are we thinking? Should we go truth or bad cop? Truth or bad cop? I feel like I want to be truth and... I'd rather to watch your informative and funny videos about man's need to post in Limpany. You're awesome. Cheers, Emily. Much appreciated. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Dare. What does that mean? Bad. June Ballard yeah. said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Where about the bishop? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Mm hmm. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Hmm. I actually don't know. It's kind of a straight face for a... Uh, lots of blinking, though. I want to believe it, this time around. Doubt, again? You are complicit That's in all wrong. this, Gloria. You know what happens to these poor deluded kids, and you go along with it. I need to find your husband. Why'd you come to Hollywood, detective? Handsome young man like you might find a little something in the movies. You've never thought about it? No, I haven't. Well, then you must be the only person in this burg who hasn't. We're born into temptation, detective. It's character that determines what we do about it. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Right. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. 
You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, Detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Hmm, right safe. Where's the fun? The pohon. A goal. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. Right, safe. To the lift. Da -da 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 -da. I've returned my says. Welcome back, Kronos Gaming. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and movie producer's wife. They're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost too famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. You. You think you're getting away with murder? This is the suspect. Nobody's dead, but that's the murderer. No, I don't want to go in the lift. I don't want to go in the lift. Ah, no. Go. Hop in the vehicle. Get in the automobile. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. We're off. Do, 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 do. Speed. Don't want to crash into a tram. That would not be good. Open yep. your eyes! That just centralised us. It was perfect. I don't know what you're on about. I'm sure I've already done a case at that dealership before, but there. Yeah, let's get the likes up to 150. We are close. It would be nice. We would smash it. It would be terrific. The silver screen prop store. The game crashed? Hail to Fook. This better this better load back in exactly where we left. Otherwise I'll probably rage quit. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. From my experience, if you Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where it'll, where it'll spit us out, let's hope. Try turning it off and on again. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. Back on. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. 
She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Yeah. Oh shit, it's kicking off somewhere else. I'm going there. I decided I do no longer care about these crimes. Instead, I'm going on a journey to solve a, another crime elsewhere. I do not care about Hollywood and shit. I'm off. Safe. Keep LA safe. Drive safely. Safety! I love safety! Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. We weren't doing nothing. I've seen you little sons of bitches brawling around my store. I'll show you. I'll, I'll teach you not to. Sir, drop the weapon. You've been drinking, sir. You don't really want to. Three times I've been robbed. Ain't nothing gets done about it. <laughs> they really stopped paying attention there. Look out, more of them. Put them down. Take this guy out. Well, that works. Eleven King calling KGPL. I've been involved in a shooting. Suspects are down. Need an ambulance to 540 West 9th Street. It's a code four. Notify a supervisor in the corner. Roger, Eleven K. All units be advised. Suspects are down at 540 West 9th Street. Shooting at Uncle Sam's Army surplus is code four. They're all dead together, so they can rob him in the afterlife now. We're off to continue our journey. I think we need a siren. Look at the textures on this building having a moment. Off to Kentucky. Why do you stop, you fool? Why do they just always stop? Roads are overrated. I'm trying to, dr I'm trying to drown out the uh, copyright music, even though it'll make no difference. At least the fact that I'm trying will, uh, will take be taken into consideration. I'm in someone's back garden. Everything's okay. Bukowski shuts up about this now, so I think we're all right. Here we are. Don't crash on me again or I'm going to have fucking words. Right, here we go. It's a bear. It's a big fellow as well. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Um. Well, I suppose we're headed this way for the time being. Oh, look at this. This is really snazzy. That's a big bear. It's got a lot of those. Is that Bukowski's fat brother? Nah. Look at these picturesque movie sets.
Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Why is he so aggy? Chill. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Hmm. Yeah, it's a two-way mirror. Mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Pull my mirror even. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Shrunken head. It's a bit on the damning side. Not one like me. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Hasn't given me anything to go on. That's a toilet. That never looks good. Let me out, you let me out. Where, what, where'd that come from? That... Oh. Oh, it's a fucking that. That had me fooled for a second. Dear, who's been a naughty boy? That's creepy as fuck, is what that is. Jungle drums, eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. A sword. So, what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Naughty. I'll find it later. Well, that's no good. Pictures on the wall aren't particularly good. Uh, I think it's safe to say that that's a little bit on the creepy side, mate. Um, he wants to hide this spot, that's for sure. sprang from Did anyone hit else hear a car pull up? Where the fuck did the horses come from? What's in there? Oh this is where I came from. Hmm, terrific. I'm gonna have to question him about the certified fucking cum house that he's got out back. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. I'm warning you, Hopgood. If you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it... Wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay, so. From the discovery here. Do the thing with the light. Uh. 
There's got to be more here then. The bin. Ah, the bin. Hmm. There's nothing in the bin. There's nothing in the bin. Maybe. What's this? So he's got a bit of a... Well, we've got this now. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Jeez. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Inspect the movie reels closer. Okay. okay. The only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. Put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey! You don't like my offer? That didn't go quite so well, did it? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Oh no, not Sheldon. Yeah, as a part of the overarching plot. does eventually find its way to the forefront. I think we get the point, there are shrunken heads. Don't think it means very much though, it just means that we're on the right track. So I've done this one. There's more. And then there's this one here. It's not what I was going to pick up, but okay. This is, and then if you inspect further, as you can see, the movie's missing. So I've got that. If they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood? Maybe that's what we need. I don't know. We'll try. Nope. I think your problem is with Bishop. I'm a bit confused. 
Not everything here is going to be relevant. Looking for some pills in the casting room. Shrunken heads. Dickhead could just turn the light back on. Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? You're going to get stabbed. Association with Bishop. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. It's a bit of a lie. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? This? This? I feel like this is it. Right? I feel like this is it. Is it the real or the drugs? Because the drugs don't really mean as much as... You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. That? Is... I have a drugged yeah. up 15-year-old girl and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with you. Wait, hang on. I used the right thing. A lot thing of producers and directors use, use this place. <laughs> I, I'm not responsible for what goes on here. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. I'm gonna bad cop the fuck out of that. Ballard was out, then she's in, then Bishop visits this place and goes crazy. You're in it somehow. These nope. clowns fuck young girls on the couch. The girls think they're going to be stars. They really put their backs into it. It's a price they're willing to pay. None of them will press charges. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Bells. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Hmm, now well, that doesn't seem interesting. Detectives, Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. Bullets will. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. 
to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Bukowski. Oh shit, get us out of here. Well, that's no good. They really don't want anybody getting a bishop before they do. I need to be closer, Cole. Well, this is a bit mobster-like, isn't it? We need to lose those fools, Phelps. That's no good. Make a move. We're sitting ducks here. I should use the minimap really. Might be helpful. But it might have been the exact tactic that was necessary. Either give me a good shot or get us the hell out of here. I like to think that we're, we've absconded successfully here, mate. They have no clue where I've gone. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Zikowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Maybe if we turn the siren off, things will be a little bit more discreet. Ow, look what you've done. I feel like discretion is necessary here. Not that I particularly care, but hey, here we are. Oh yeah, we hit 150 likes. That is terrific gaming business. I really appreciate that. 150 fat, hefty, epic likes. Now, I drive me car at speed. I think we're cl closing in on the end of this case. As much as I've shit the bed on this case, I think we're closing in. I feel like this is... I, I think this is the case where you get promoted anyway, isn't it? So you can't really fuck it up too bad. In fact, there's an entire country with the same accent as Shrek. And that's not exactly true. I'm not exactly wrong. Do you think the accent is just one block thing for an entire country? No. Not quite how regional accents work. Regional accents are much more specific than the entire there country. Unless well, it's like Australia, then it's... It's... There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark oh, Bishop, no. stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Well, I suppose I've got to give chase now. We're trying to help you, Bishop! Ok, 
Can't be that way. I don't know where I'm chasing. Oh, there we go. Much better. Up the movie set. And get promoted after this. Yeah, so you can't really fuck up this case then, can you? Suspect escaped. Well, didn't help me specify where I was supposed to be going, but... Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Come on, Mark Bishop. It's probably be a little bit faster if I could jump. So instead of going down steps, you know what I mean? Mark Bishop, I've been waiting a long time for this, you kiddie fiddler. We're trying to help you, Bishop. Not that part, but yeah, oh, no. I feel like he's faster than me on the steps. He doesn't know what I know, which is blokes with Tommy guns are about to rock up and cause problems. It's us or McCaffrey's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. Ow. Dick move. By Mark Bishop there. Kicking me in the face for you, fool. Stop being a fool. Behave yourself. Behave yourself, the movie. Bishop, that's enough! Oh, <laughs> Why did he randomly T-pose and fall to his death? Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! That kind of pisses me off after a bit, to be honest with you. I don't much appreciate being kicked you, in the face. <laughs> T pose is claim another life. It's us or McCaffrey's boys, your choice. It was the T pose of death. under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's good and will too. Oh, we, need, we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh, dear. Bit of violence, why not? Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Can't say I blame them. Last chance to back the hell down. Hmm. It's this way. We could at least wait for me to get my health back. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? For God's sake, I don't want to die! 
LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Well, I should have tried that. Here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Is this really the best McAfee's got? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, a bit of a Tommy gun for him. That's really satisfying. That's a view. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Shit, really hurts. Uh, ah, hello. <laughs> you have to get me out of here. Come on then. Shoot the bombs. There's a ladder leading to the ground. For the love of God, how many are there? Many. Yeah, there we go. Get him over here, I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. Where is the man? Barrels at the base of the elephant column. They're full of gasoline. Well, that really worked, didn't it? Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Yes. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Some cover. I should have known that bitch was the problem. Right, off we trip. Off we fuck. Ah. Officer, to oh fuck, I just shot a cop. I, I did well, and then I shot a cop. Get him over here! I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. Oh fuck, we're back here. Uh, I don't need the ladder. The ladder is for the kids. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Those barrels at the base of the. I don't know who he's shooting at, but shooting at someone. Weapons on the ground now. I failed the mission for option for optionally involving myself in violence. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. That worked. I need your weapon. I need your weapon. Let's go. Best McAfee's got. Yep, done. Now, this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. 
It was good working with you, son. There we go. Bit of a big old promotion and a new suit in that. Oh no, he's showed up in his nice fancy car. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Oh no, there's another fucking... Sex bot in my chat. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love you it. You like jazz? Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? Bit of plot. This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while well, This is where we meet Elsa, table. isn't it? You'll like her. She's something Is there another bot? Maybe another night, Roy. She's <sighs> pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. You will follow me, detectives. I'm about to assist this man in beating the shit out of uh, the, the vice fella, because I don't like him. He's not a likable character. It was my character. only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Oh, it's Micah Bell. You realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. <sighs> so what about that drink, boys? Hot take, I don't like Roy. It's kind of hard to make that a hot take. Now I'm going I'm to get a lecture for this one. Watch, watch the lecture. What will the lecture be? The case is thin without an account of Jessica's ordeal from Aunt June or Jessica herself. But I got promoted to homicide desk, so it can't have been that bad. Six months later. Ooh, six whole months. I'm a time traveller. The red lipstick murder. Well, that's delightful. But it's going to have to wait. Brutality, why the fuck not? 
All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Oh, it's him. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, it's Rusty. the fine of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and burning all the signs. <laughs> Everybody burning. loves Rusty. Get out to the scene, Well. Lads. Hello, Rusty. Let's walk outside of here. I've got a new suit and it makes me feel good. Do you have the address? Been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. This guy's got a screw. I like this guy's voice. It's a lot. It's. A, it's a lot soother than um. What's his name? But we get a cool car. I'm gonna park it nice and easy. Well, here we are. This is where we live. This is where we're going to be based. This is a long parking space. I don't feel like I need this much, but here we are. Oh shit, I've lost control of the car and I'm just steering it around. This will do. This is Rusty's vehicle. He loves it. He takes it on weekend drives. Wherever it goes. Crime scene. Yes, that doesn't really specify, but yeah, there we go. It's a sizzling take. <laughs> right, okay. Um, for, we've been going for four hours. For today, I think that's going to be it. I've got to edit a History Channel video in time to get to sleep, I guess. I've got to go to sleep at some point, right? And I've got a History Channel video to edit. It's The audio's done, so it shouldn't take me too long to actually get the rest of it done. It is halfway edited already, so it won't be too bad, but I do need to get it done tonight. Or, or at least I've set a goal for myself to get it done tonight, so it'll be a really productive day, you know what I mean? And at least I can sit at the end of that day and be like, fuck, I've done loads, you know? And then tomorrow I can focus on a main channel video of some sort. That would be really nice. Um, but no. Effective way you do history. I'm launching a history channel on the 19th of July, and you can check it out via the top link in the description. If you wanna, if you if you wanna have a look, that is. If not, then no worries, no love lost. I'll continue to make gaming content as well. But I would really appreciate everybody if you haven't already checked it out to absolutely go ahead and do so because the passion that we've poured into that collectively as a team already has been has been brilliant. So so yeah. Thank you all for watching this stream. Really hope that you've enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. Like I said, definitely check out the History Channel, things like that. That would be fantastic. It sits at 1,550 subscribers at the moment and counting. And I truly believe it's going to knock your socks off when it comes to the actual content when you get to see it. But yeah, until next time, please take care and goodbye. Whee!